froze, starting with problem number 12. We have 8x minus 4y is equal to 16. If we're going to find the x-intercept, inter we know that the y value is 0. So because we know the y value is 0, we'll put that into our ordered pair. We'll plug in the 0 for y. 8x minus 4 times 0 is equal to 16. 8x is equal to 16. You're going to divide by 8. x is equal to 2. So our x-intercept is going to be 0, 2, 0. For the y-intercept, x is 0. You're going to put the 0 in for the x anywhere in the equation. We're going to end up with negative 4y is equal to 16. Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. y is equal to negative 4. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Now, in order to graph, we need a slope. So we're going to go ahead and come up here and we'll take the 8x minus 4y equals 16. Is the y first? It's not. So we'll do keep change change and then do commutative property of addition. That will give us negative 4y plus 8x is equal to 16. We're going to zero pair out the 8x on both sides, brother sister rule. Then we're going to divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4 with the x term. Divide by negative 4 with the constant. That's going to give us y is equal to 2x minus 4. Our slope is going to be 2 over 1, up 2 to the right 1. Our y-intercept, or our starting point, is going to be 0, negative 4. So now what we're going to do is come over here and graph. We're going to start at 0, negative 4. We're going to go up 2 to the right 1 up 2 to the right 1. We're touching the x-intercept, so we're going to go one more time. Up 2 to the right 1. Go back to the starting point, down 2 to the left 1. Down 2 to the left 1. Now we're going to label both intercepts. This one is our y-intercept, our starting point, our b, our 0, negative 4. This is our x-intercept, 2, 0. All right, we're moving on to number 13. So number 13, we are graphing x equals 7. Now you'll notice that you don't see a y, therefore you have to have a table. x equals 7, so we're going to write 5 7s to create our 5 ordered pairs. You're going to use Hampton Domain to fill in for the y. Now you're going to graph those 5 ordered pairs on your graph. You'll start at 7, 0, 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, negative 1, 7, negative 2. If I'm going to identify the slope, it's going to be an undefined slope. If I were going to write it, it's 1 over 0, and it's non-proportional. Very quickly, too, just a reminder that the graph for number 12, positive, non-proportional. And finally, the last one that you're going to be graphing is y equals negative 2. So we don't have a slope, so we can write in the slope. 0 over 1x minus negative 2. So we're going to keep change change, which gives us our starting point of 0, negative 2. Our slope is going to be up 0 to the right 1. So we're going to come over to our graph. We're going to start with 0, negative 2, go up 0 to the right 1, up 0 to the right 1. Go back to my starting point, down 0 to the left 1, down 0 to the left 1. This slope is a 0 slope, non-proportional. And now you have finished reviewing for the quiz.